Good morning, everyone. I've got my cup of tea and the sea and adventure awaits. Now, since uh, I, first of all, I want to thank all my new subscribers. I never thought I would, I was excited to reach 1000 and now to think I have almost two is quite amazing. And I'm very happy about that. Now, um, I had, in order to do the Sunday open, or the Sunday uh, premiere, I had to kind of move my schedule around, which meant I had to make an extra video this week. So my new posting schedule is now Tuesday, Thursday, with premieres on Sunday. So uh, suffice it to say, I'm actually quite tired this morning, this Monday morning from uh, the extra video. So I think today we're gonna just do it kind of slow. Oh, hopefully you can see, I have the camera pointing at my view, and hopefully you can see the one of the shellfishmen is coming in if you can see his boat coming in. That's the morning commute I see <laughs> of a day. So let's go down and sit on the chairs and uh, I'll have a little talk and then today we'll just have a nice slow day. sit in our chairs and I'm sure you can hear the crunch of the shells underfoot which you would be hearing as well if you were sitting down here with me. So I'm just going to have a little sit because I think today we are going to have just a quick little beach comb, a little scrounge around the shore as I do most mornings, see what we can find. And then if I find anything that inspires me, I thought it might be fun to show the artist side of me today in that sometimes I will find something and get inspired by it and it will lead to a drawing for that day. So I'm going to have a sip of my tea and then uh, we can have a little look around. Does that sound good? So while I drink my tea, I'll let you look at the sea for a second and maybe I'll play a little bit of soft music and you can enjoy that. Okay, wow. So first treasure today is pretty amazing. This is a, I would definitely, if we have tiers of treasure I find, I would definitely put this top tier because it is very rare. This is the shell of a native box turtle, which is actually our only native tortoise in this area. Now I feel sad because of course it means the demise of the box turtle, but then again, it could also be that the turtle passed of its own accord and it just got washed into the sea. Uh, sometimes the herons, though, they are quite vicious, and I've seen them eat, eat tortoises. But since we've just found the shell, let's call it a happy death of nature taking back its own. It's nice to it has uh, the bottom half of the carapace. It has the bottom half of the shell. And it's really interesting because you can see sorry about my mic, you can see how it almost looks like it is, well, it technically sort of is the spine of the creature. And what is, we're actually quite lucky is we have much of the beauty of the original patterning of the box turtle on there. But what I also enjoy is being someone who likes bones and taxidermy and such, seeing the under, the underside of this protective shell coloring that gives them camouflage in the wild and exposing this white bit which is basically their bones. That's a beautiful treasure. I mean, that is worthy of hanging on the wall, possibly in the boathouse reno when that gets finished. So I say for today's morning beach comb, that's quite lucky. All right, let's see what else we can find.
Oh, already? I know this will seem like I planted it, but we really do get amazing things here. Let me grab this. This is another find. Although these are more common. I find this quite often, but they're still exciting. This is a whelk casing or a conch casing. Sometimes we call the, the shells conchs here, although technically the conch is related to the whelk and the conch needs a warmer sea. So when you're in Florida beach combing and you find that type of shell, it's more likely a conch. Whilst here, it's more like a whelk. Inside of all of these, you would find... Let me see if I can open them up. I think it's too damp. We have to let it dry. But inside of this is, will be tiny, tiny little miniature whelks. And let me grab a whelk shell so you can know what it is I'm talking about. So this is a whelk or a conch, or a conch, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, and we find these all the time. So this is their children. And uh, like I said, that the term whelk and conch seems to be interchangeable here, even though, as I said, technically, it's whelks here and conchs in the warmer clime. We've been on the vineyard and have had conch chowder, they've called it, which is the, the animal that lives in the shell. And actually, I'll take this shell as well because we have a little um, whelk tree or conch tree. It's, a, it's an old washerwork piece of driftwood I keep on the stairs leading from the beach up to the house. And in a normal summer when we've had people, friends and family visit, whenever you find one, it's our tradition to hang it on that tree. So let's say it's not very full this year <laughs> since we've had zero family and friends visit this year. But let's continue on with our beachcombing. But now this is not a, a tier one or a high tier treasure. This is just a scallop shell. We have endless scallops here. It's actually one of my favorite uh, seafood besides lobster to eat. I love scallops is always my first choice. But though this is common, it's still, this is worth me taking because see how it's very intact. I love how you have the blue gray here and the, uh, the growth, the algal growth from the sea just has those perfect blues and greens that I'm always searching for. So for me, this will probably live on my windowsill today as I'm drawing, and it may stay there for a while, and it might return to the beach. However, this also has given me the idea that maybe since I get to share Christmas with all of you, maybe we will make some fun, get the hot glue gun out, and make some fun uh, sea ornaments for one of the Christmas trees. Okay. So let's just have one more quick little browse around, and then I think this will be a short video today. I'll probably share some drawing next, and that might close it out. This is a very busy week. This uh, weekend is Halloween, and I have my nieces and I have our witch's tea, which I hope to film and share with you. So it's going to be a busy week, so this may be a short video. All right, let's have one quick little look. So before we head up to the studio, let's look at our treasures for the day. Again, I'm so happy about this. It's like Father Christmas came early this year. And the casing I actually will leave out here because it's still a little damp. I'm going to let that dry. And I'm actually going to let this dry a bit more. It's quite dry, but it probably needs a bit more destinkifying, shall we say. And the shell I can take in. I also found, I find lots of little bits of driftwood. These type of little pieces, now this would be really cute to just paint. Actually, just using it like that is lovely, but I could, uh, even for our uh, seafaring Christmas, I could paint something adorable on there. And, oh, and then to show our quite sparse whelk or conch tree. So in the studio today, after we found the lovely uh, tortoise carapace or the box turtle carapace on the beach, I thought, let's go into the studio and do some sketching. Now, often when I go beachcombing and I find things to inspire me, it might lead to something that's more like a traditional style painting, but often I end up doing something uh, with characters and illustrative work just because I happen to really enjoy that and I love animals. But the uh, box turtle carapace was, was such a find today that I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to do a character study for a possible American cousin 
to visit Lalande. Uh, for those of you who may not know, I did some sketches as a sort of tribute to Lalande, Chateau de Lalande from Chateau Diaries, because I've just been so inspired by them, uh, making animals that live there into little characters. So I kind of had the idea of making a, a sort of semi-story line of uh, American characters based um, on animals that would visit like Lalande as American cousins. Now again, it wouldn't be an actual book, it would just be fun illustrations. And so thinking of the tortoise and how funny and wrinkly their faces are, I just kind of pictured her as a fun, older, uh, matronly woman. And again, in the 18th century style, I put a funny little bonnet on her head, a lace bonnet, and some nice curls at the side. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Again, this is just a study. A very rough study. I would add more depth and highlights and lowlights when I would finish the piece and it would be inked and um, then done in pastels and possibly oils. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed today. I just wanted to have a simple day today of beachcombing and then what it was like to just sort of go into my studio and spend a cloudy, uh, somewhat rainy day just sketching and dreaming away. Well, I guess we can end it here and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for joining me again here today. And I'm sorry this video is a little bit shorter, but I have been really busy this week. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm uh, looking forward to getting to know more of all of you in the comments and on chats and things. So I hope you enjoyed our little beach finds, our fun little beach coming, and a little bit of sketching. It's been kind of a overcast gray day today, so it was the perfect day to just sit inside, um, have a fire, and sit in the studio and just sketch and dream about things. Now I have a very busy week coming up, but uh, I still need to make time for artwork. So it was a good day to do that. So, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and remember that it, I am now posting on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Sundays. I will see you on chats and on Thursday. And remember, stay creative.